Hello everyone. How we doing? So, welcome to Pete Walters After Hours. <laughs> um, got done doing a couple of just absolutely amazing pieces tonight. I am um, absolutely in love with the uh, cosmic stuff that we just got done doing. Wow. Um, I mean, if you told me we'd be using a fork and a paper plate and some tin foil to do probably one of the neatest pieces I've done. Um, I probably would have told you you're crazy, <laughs> but um, so we're going to be doing something that's inspired by um, a moment that I, I shared with my daughter tonight. And I might get a little teared up because I love my kids to death. So I was sitting with her, she's two, sitting with her on the couch and just kind of rubbing her hair and her face and just appreciating her beauty. And the song True Colors came on from the movie Trolls, one of her favorites. She loves Poppy and uh, Justin Timberlake. And that piece, um, it, it made me tear up because um, everybody's true colors, they're, they're afraid to show it. And uh, you just really appreciate when somebody does and you can see the beauty that they have and the, the creativity that they can share and uh, you know what God intended for them to be. So um, don't be afraid to show your true colors. So we're gonna do a rainbow piece tonight um, that I think is gonna be pretty awesome. Um, I'm kind of excited. I did one a while ago, um, and I just, I loved how it turned out. So that was kind of in my infancy of, of doing this, and I've learned a lot. So I want to put that to practice. So we are going to do a rainbow piece um, and show our true colors and just kind of have fun with it. So um, kind of trying to think of how we want to lay this out and, and how this is going to work. But um, um, yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna kind of go for it. So, um, So, art class, <laughs> um, we're gonna do the Roy G. Biv here, and we got uh, red, uh, orange, yellow, um, green, blue, and we don't really have an indigo and violet, but they're really close to being the same here. We're gonna, I guess we, yeah, we do. we're gonna, we're, we got the Roy G. Biv going on here. So we are <laughs> gonna do this, um, and we're gonna show our true colors, and we're gonna do something real kind of fun here. So. Um, Let's get to it. Appreciate you guys being here tonight. Everybody digging the music? Pretty cool. I don't know, me too. These are all just um, basic paints that you would find. So what, Apple Craft Smart, um, Apple Barrel. These are all just ones that you'd find at um, at Walmart. So 
cool already, huh? <laughs> I think so too. Cool. Alright. Grab ourselves a brush. Get to it. brush for every color. That will adjust. Okay, here we go. Now, you could take a look at this from a couple different angles and think, you know, this looks really cool this way, you know, and we could totally rock this out as a custom water piece, which is my intent, is um, to use this as a reflection piece, because we're really just kind of reflecting on our true colors. Dinner. Okay, just a hint of blend. This is kind of a strange transition. There we go. Okay, cool. I like this. So, <laughs> we could run a nice line through here, have some watery. We also, kind of a neat deal here, is check it out this way and have this be our foreground with this as a nighttime sky here. So, lots of different things we could do with this. I am going to do this this way, um, kind of what we initially had planned. I used the same brush for that whole thing, which was kind of a neat deal. Thought that was pretty awesome. All right, so what we're gonna do is use this palette knife. We're gonna run a, a bead of paint line down through here. And use this as our reflection. Clean this paint palette knife off here. Didn't do that the other night, which is totally fine for these metal palette knives. You can, you don't have to clean them off because the paint just kind of scrapes right off. You got a nail or something. Not like a carpenter's nail, but like your, your fingernail. How are we doing? Checking it out? All right. Yeah, good color combo. That is your Roy G. Biv, red, orange, yellow. I don't really have a whole lot of yellow in there, but you get the drift. Green, blue, indigo, and violet. I suppose you could throw a little more yellow in there. What do you think? Let's do it. Get a different brush. Yeah. I don't want to mess that up. Okay, so here we go. That is okay because that's going to be water, so we're good. Cool. 
So there's kind of our play line. And what we're going to do is scrape ourselves a cool sponge here. So we're taking the same colors, we're going to put these on a plate. Putting all these colors on a plate. our sponge. We're just going to come in here. We're going to texture this. I want this to kind of overlap a little bit. Because then we're going to come in here with this one. And this is going to overlap too. adding some texture to the top of those. I think you guys kind of understand where this is going. Some of you might see kind of where this is, kind of where this one's headed. Just by the fact we used the uh, sponges. sponge just because the green and blue not the best mixture there Obviously those are trees. 
Just no, we can either do white, do white um, uh, trunks, or we can do black. Um, I'm going to switch this up and do white. Free for 30 days. Just ask Try Amazon Music Unlimited. Not cool. Cancel anytime. All right, so let's do it. Let's use white. And since we're just kind of being a little different here tonight and using a little more abstract, I think white would be kind of cool. So let's do it. Let's do it. It's got some funky, funky fibers on this brush. I'm not digging that. This does have just a hint of purple still on it, but it adds a little bit of realness to what we're looking at um, when it comes to the branch or the, or the trunk. It's got some low light to it because you come white on this yellow and it's going to look funky. So, and again, it's an abstract piece. So it's totally fine to have some funkiness to go, wait, what? Am I looking at the right thing here? smaller of a brush. Let me just kind of laid out that. Add some
How are we doing, guys? I'm digging this. Kind of neat, huh? Ooh, we found a piece of sponge. How about that? Just hanging out and watching. Kind of neat, huh? <laughs> it's pretty fun. You know, just trying new things, doing something different. So again, this is trying to show your true colors and them shine through and understanding that each one of these is just amazing on its own but together you know it makes just such an amazing piece of art so that's why we're all different because we're really meant to work together and create beauty and harmony and Let God's light through shine through all of us for each other to see and appreciate. Each one of these trees is so unique and different. So we got this going here. I think what we'll do kind of in the meantime is take get this little blended up piece right here. Um, you take and grab an old sponge way back when. So just use the top of this. Okay, so we got just an old sponge that we used and it's all crusty and kind of weird. Um, we're just gonna grab some of this white paint. We got a little bit on the edge here. It's kind of what we use to do these highlights and just gonna kind of, kind of blend this across, um, across the bottom. It's kind of our, since we would normally use black, it's kind of our piece, you know, that we're gonna use to kind of blend this across give us a little bit of texture like grass if you will or you know just to break up the bottom where these trees are at so because bottoms of trees are kind of tough to do sometimes that's kind of neat it's going to give us some of that color as we pass through and you can back it up a little bit too as you come across 
and then it'll draw some of that orange back into the yellow and you know vice versa some of this is grab a little bit more white and just kind of go through some of this and it's just going to have some different texture and color to it so it's got a little bit of a some white highlights in throughout there just so it doesn't look so dark on one end kind of a neat transition there cool i like it got some highlights and everything through there and then we have our reflection down here and we're going to use that same white just going to come in here Just using light light touches across here we're just kind of tapping it um, we want a nice kind of a semi straight line you know up towards the shoreline but anything down here can be just kind of wobble through as far as paint I'm grabbing you know different colors it's I'm using that same white that we used um, for the trees and it's got little flecks of different color in it um, so it's not straight white which is kind of cool because we're just kind of blending all these colors together anyways across the palette Some of this underlying color here is probably still going to be a little wet, so it's okay if you get a little of that color popping through. Just add some texture, dimension to it. Hear my furnace kicking on here and there. dub on this thing what do you guys think what do you think i'm gonna read it in the comments what do you guys think here a little something different definitely stepped outside of the comfort zone with this one you know because this is we did white trees instead of black totally different and we'll use some random i shouldn't say random i mean it is the color palette and the Color wheel, the Roy G. Biv, if you 
you learned in elementary school. Totally fun, totally cool. And that right there, my friends, is the ending piece for tonight. Um, kind of message there is to show your true colors. I'll show everybody this piece. I'll hold it up here. And uh, there we are, folks. There is a rainbow set of trees there. It'd look great above somebody's bed, on a bedroom, behind a couch, something like that. Just a wow, splash of color. Got a nice reflection there. Trees are all different, unique. Pretty awesome. I love this. I'm glad you guys hung out with me for this last little piece because this is so different than what we did earlier. This has got some really cool neatness to it, some reflection, and I just love this piece. So um, I would happily love to see this in somebody's living room. Send me a picture of it. Um, quick hundred bucks and it's yours. Um, I love it. It's super easy, super quick. Let me know if you'd like it. It's totally yours, your true colors. You'll always remember it. Play that song, listen to it, and understand what they're really trying to say in that song. True colors. I like the, uh, I mean, the original version, um, but you know, the Justin Timberlake one is pretty nice too. <laughs> so, I uh, hope you guys had a great night. Um, and we're almost halfway through the week. We'll be there tomorrow. Yes, Wednesday. So, um, tune in tomorrow night, guys. Hopefully, we'll have something for you. Um, I love you guys. Take care. A wonderful night. Sweet dreams. Sleep well. I love you. Stay positive. Hug somebody. You know. Don't, you know, be too crazy, but <laughs> have a great night, guys. I love you. Bye.